Hi, good morning and good evening to everyone. You are watching Mainframe Tutorials by Kumar. This is the tutorial about the COBOL tutorial of session 8. So, in this video, I would like to share about the files, the, which is the important concept in the COBOL programming. So, what do you say? Let's go ahead and start with what is files. So in this files, so I will be talking about working with files, how do we declaration of a file and processing of a file. We all know that auxiliary storage devices are used to handle large volume of data in the form of database which we call as DB objects and these DB objects are called as a files. So this file concept is very much popular in any kind of technology use either it is a C, C++, Java, .NET which plays a very important key role for any of the data processing. So file is divided into a records and each records contain a set of information. Each records are further divided into fields. So in a file each row is called as a records in the same way each column is called as in a field so that's the reason I'm saying like record contains a set of information each record further divided into a fields each field further divided into an in characters so the set of characters combined together called as an information so how do we identify these files records and fields so files are identified by its file name whereas the records are identified by its record name and in the same way fields are identified by field names so how do we how do we identify i mean how do you know the record names field names and everything so in my coming videos i would be explaining about the copy books so where you would be coming to know how how the record names or I mean how the field names are given and how do we uh, retrieve the data from the files and everything so so very important note over here is the file names record names field names or user defined names and it must be formed between 1 to 30 alphanumeric characters so it should not exist more than 30 alphanumeric characters so working with files so now as I said file contains records fields records are uh, rows are identified by record and the columns are identified by field so in order to work with file so first f the basic things we need to know is how do we, we declare these files and uh, how do we process these files we know that uh, now file is a collection of row and record rows and columns or records and fields so how do we declare this and how do we process this file so there are mainly two steps that is declaration of a file and processing of a file declaration of file in declaration of a file file name and device name is specified and a data structure is specified as for requirement processing of a file it is entering records like deleting records changing records retrieving records declaration of a file is coded in environment or data division whereas processing of files is coded in procedure division so I can show show you a sample code uh, to declare a file so as I said declaration of a file is coded in environment or data division and processing of file is coded in procedure division now we will see a declaration of file so for as usual uh, we have environment division uh, input output section under input output section we have a file control where you need to give your file name this is the logical file name which is assigned to a disk this will be a physical file which is mapped to a physical data set in the JCL in the same way this is my transaction data file I am assigning it to a disk this disk is assigned to a JCL and in the JCL it is mapped to a physical data set 
In the same way, I have the master file which is assigned to your disk. In the same way, this disk is assigned to. I can say it as disk one, disk one, and disk two. This should be a unique names. In the same way, disk two is mapped to a JCL and the uh, uh, JCL DD name, and this DD name is mapped to a physical file. So these two are the reference file I'm going to use. So in the data division, we have a section called file section. So for declaring a file, this the file control is the first section. So once I map it to this, and once I have mapped the physical file to a logical file name, so I need to give a file description. So as we said, file is a collection of rows and records. I in the above I declared the file name. Now I need to identify the records and the field names. So you have to declare a file. You have to de de give a description. Uh, FD stands for file description, which is a TR data file. It should be the same file name. And now I'm giving a record name. My record. My uh, I am declaring a record name as TR record. And this record is having a set of fields called TR number, TR data, and TR time. For example, my physical file is like TSO TR data. My physical file name is TR data. And in this, I'm having some 80886612. The date date format is zero eight zero eight two zero one four, and the time is ten four two twenty one twenty two. So end this. So now I have since I have given my f this is my first record, and this can be second, this can be third. So in my first record. The first eight bytes, the first eight bytes will represent the TR number, and the next ten bytes will represent the data, and the next ten bytes will represent the time. So in this way, I have declared my record, and this ma this uh, file name will be mapped to a physical file name. For example, so since I'm saying it, this as a file, so in the JCL, how this will be like? D I S K D D D S N equal to this particular data set, comma disk equal to share. So this disk one is assigned here. I say a disk one, so it goes to the JCL and it searches for the actual physical file. In this actual physical files, it finds the records. We have set of records. This is the T R record. I can say it as T R record. This is the TR first record. This is the first record, and this TR number is mapped to this. So, so this TR number, this would be the TR number, and sorry, this will be the TR data. Okay, and. This will be the TR time. So in this way, the file declaration is done. So this was about the COBOL code declaration of a file. Next we will be seeing how do we process a file. It consists of mainly two steps. I can say two or three steps. And if I'm not wrong, yeah, it should be a three steps. First, we need to open a file. And after opening a file, what you can do set of operations like writing records, rewriting records, deleting records, or reading records. After doing, after processing everything, you need to close the file. The main, I repeat it again. In order to work with the files, first you need to open a file, writing or reading or rewriting or deleting records. That is called as processing. Then you need to close a file. In the above, we have seen 
a declaration of a file so in procedure division you need to do a processing file all the processing of a file is done in a procedure division all the declaration is done in a data division so that's what we did in earlier so now in procedure processing of a file so there are various method modes to open a file opening command open with open modes types are open mode types of open modes are output mode input mode input output mode and extend mode output mode when you open a file with uh, the output mode it is it it means that it is mainly used for writing of a data writing of a data into a file when you open this in the input mode it means reading a data from the input file input output it can be used for both input writing and reading extend mode this is mainly used to append the data in the existing file so output mode it, it you can consider this as the output file is very empty where i'm trying to enter the records in sequentially so extend mode which is used to oh, append the records so the simple syntax is open output file name or open input file name open input output file name or open extend file name in the same way writing it is uh, the other keyword is the write it is output operation one run, one write command is equal to one in such statement right each time you can write only a one record if you want to write a multiple records you need to have a perform loops and get it iterated so rewrite it is used to change records before before rewriting read command has to be applied delete it is another output operation which is used to delete record from a file read it is the input operation which is used to retrieve data from a file note all the above operation will process only one record at a time for multiple records commands have to be kept on perform loop so this is our this is was about how what is a file oh what are the how do we declare a file and how do we process a file and where do we declare and where do we process what are the different modes of output modes what is write and what is read how do we declare it and everything we have seen so based on this we have two different kinds of i mean there are two uh, i mean what there are three different types of files that is sequential file indexed file and relative files i would give you more and more detail about, about these files in my next video i hope you have you all have enjoyed this video thank you for watching this uh, have a great and wonderful day